Mama, let me whisper in your ear. Ada, Ada. What's good, my fucking weebs? How's it going, boys? How's it going? Um, welcome back to another video of un um un, un unboxing and un enveloping and un packaging. Um, another manga today. Again, you guys know what I have before I do because at this point in time, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I've ordered quite a lot. The packaging on this isn't great. I'm not gonna lie. It's just in a bag. There is. I can separate the pages here if I want to. Which isn't good, because, you know, if this was chucked or, you know, God forbid Hermes had it. Boy. But, I bought this off Music Magpie, it says. That's the return address, so I, I, I can't remember. They have manga sometimes, it's pretty cheap, so. Let's crack it open, boys. Hope you're all doing well during these times. Hope you're all getting your packages and, I don't know, stuff. Getting your booty calls during these times. Ah, yeah. oh, it's Dream 7. Amazing! God, that's quite a thick volume. But... Trinity 7, um, one of my absolute favourite series. Story by Kenji Saito, art by Akinari Nao. Um, I absolutely love Trinity 7 as a anime series and as a manga. And I'm trying to collect them all. I currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 11. Don't ask me why. 11 came up online for like £2.50 or something. I was like, that's ridiculous. I have to buy it. I don't care if it's out of order. I'm going to buy it anyway. But um, So now I'm just slowly building them up one at a time. Uh, this is volume 5, the next one I'm missing. Um, super excited to get all of them and read it. I paid £4.80 for this, if I recall, from Music Magpie. It was inspected in good condition, and it is. Spine slightly a bit crumbled at the bottom again, but I'm not fussed on that. Um, so yeah, um, I absolutely, oh god, I absolutely love this series. I keep, oh, can you not? <laughs> um, I don't make this a meme. <laughs> um, brief introduction into the Trinity Seven story. Um, so, oh god, where do I start? It's like explaining fate. Not as bad, but... So, um, there is a guy called Arata. He is our main character. Um, <clears throat> he is a demon lord candidate, which means he has immense power and has the potential, because he's a candidate, to become the demon lord, which is the biggest, baddest motherfucker out there. Um, he joins a school and meets the Trinity Seven, which are seven... Seven, like, what the fuck? Seven girls um, in the school who are like the best in their field or the strongest of the lot, and he basically harems all of them. Some are a little shy, some are really fucking slutty, but yeah, it all works out. It's a really good um, etchy harem. That um, that's the girl in the front cover um, that I thoroughly enjoy. <clears throat> Um, because it actually has really good story and really good lewd. It's like DxD, it's like actually decent. Even if the show didn't have the lewd in it, it'd still be good. But so the magic in this is a bit different. If you if you can even call it magic, it's more like each of the girls or everybody has their own um, librum, like a, a book, a grimoire. And that gives them access to certain archives where they can access certain types of magic. Um, Adita's ability, more so than his Librum, is um, he can copy people's. As long as he knows like the archive and the, how it works, he can use it himself, which makes him incredibly powerful. And I think that's why he was kind of set up by the Headmaster to meet the Trinity Seven. Because if he gets each of the Sevens of them, plus whatever else he finds in the world, he's just just unstoppable absolutely unstoppable but that's such good scenes and i love that the mc editor isn't some like pussy dense asshole that's like you know <clears throat> oh all these girls keep showing me their boobs i wonder why do they like me arit is just straight in there like show me your boobs those are amazing you have a great rack i want to sleep with you let's all bang and the girl's like yeah no and he's just like yeah let's do it let's do it 
like he's not he's not dense at all he's just always for it always makes the lewdest situations and then if the lewd one does happen he doesn't get all like shy like oh i'm sorry i shouldn't have done that he's just like giggles and like <laughs> nice like fucking the enemy of all men but the, the trinity seven like him so what a boy <laughs> yeah i can't wait to get this entire series and i'm gonna read it all um because it goes they currently has one anime and then two films um I believe the second film goes up to volume 15 because it includes someone called Judeca and 15 has Judeca on the front cover. Now I haven't read it, that's just me trying to put two and two together. Um, currently serialised, I believe there are 20, 21 volumes, so I've got quite a bit to go, but it'll be a really nice collection. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for joining me guys. There's only so much I can talk about Training 7 without repeating myself, but I can talk about it all day if you want me to. Um, please check out my social media links below. Really appreciate you watching this video, and during these times, please stay safe. So, I'm going to stop before I slap my computer. Oh my god, stop. So, thanks guys. Take care.